What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our Tales of Zillia video. Last time, we journeyed through the Mon Highlands, or Mon, Mon, uh, I guess it would be Mon, uh, the Mon Highlands, to head to Cambalar to meet with the King of Ajul. Uh, to talk about the oncoming war and maybe see if we can prevent it somehow. Uh, in my gut, I don't think that's going to work as easily as we expect, but we're gonna find out. So, uh, we're right outside Camblar, so let's get going after the skit. Achoo. We're all gonna catch colds at this rate. Oh, a chance to get sick. <clears throat> Do you enjoy having colds? This will be my first time. When I had the four, they wouldn't even let the rain and snow get me wet. But what if you get a fever? Ah, I did experience that when I hurt my legs. I felt like my body was burning up. See? That's why you should try to stay healthy. But I want to experience the sensation of having continuous nasal discharge. I doubt that anyone else wants to see that. It would be funny to see, though. Uh, yeah, the getting sick's not fun. I would not recommend it. Zero out of ten experience. Wow, and I thought Shandu was in Hotburg. Look at this place. The spirit faith is stronger here in Ajul than it is in Rashagal. Wow, check those out. That's something you won't see anywhere else in the world. It's one of Kanbalar's famous mountain slide cars. What are they? Kanbala was built along the peaks of a mountain range. Those slide cars connect the multiple districts together. Huh. Don't they look fun? I bet we could see forever in one of those. How do we go about meeting the king? I'll request a royal audience for you when I seek permission to use the wyverns. Don't get your hopes up, though. Many people come to the capital seeking an audience, so you may need to wait a bit. I suggest resting at the inn until I get back. I bet right now you're trying to think of a way to do things without Jurgen's help. Uh, just try not to make trouble for him, okay? He's a nice guy. I agree. And Leia needs to cool off with the friendly buddy buddy stuff. Elise is clearly not. Even in the great mood. warriors can't fight on an empty stomach. Of course, nor are they very effective when they're drowsy after a big meal. So you gotta eat in between. Don't fill yourself up all the way, but give yourself enough food to uh, be able to do things. Uh, we don't really have much money, so I'm not gonna even bother with the shops right now, but. Uh, Guess, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll take a minute to kind of look at the city. See, normally I'm totally into the whole snowy city vibe. Like, usually in Tales games, if there's a snowy city, I love it. But I don't know, this feels very... What's the word? It's not even really... Hmm. I'm really thinking how to word this. Like, I like the snow aesthetic, but it's not... I really don't know how to describe it. There's something about this city that just doesn't appeal to me. Like, Flanor and Symphonia, love it. Um, I forget what the city's called in Berseria, but that little town that's covered in the snow that Try you go to, to I really like the that. Of the, houses. the snow on the roofs could tumble down on you. But, um, something about... It's very... Mm, what's the word for, like, business-like? Like, it just doesn't... I don't know. It feels like it'd be too busy for me. Maybe that's what the what I'm kind of looking for. Is it seems like it would get very busy on the streets and stuff, and I wouldn't really like that. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go with that explanation because I don't really know how else to word it. <laughs> um. Okay. There's a food thing here. I guess we can see if we can restock on some of that. We could probably buy one of the higher EXP ones as well if I really wanted to. Oh, the beef bowl. This is like, it's more XP, but less battles. So, uh, 
well, so what would that be? So that'd be 180% if you had, I'm just adding it all up. So 180%, you multiply it times three, and then seven times three is 20. So it's roughly, you know, you're better off buying one of these than buying one of these. But at the same time, if you're going for a big boss battle, you'd want this instead, because obviously it would apply to that one fight. Um, but if you're just looking for longer amounts of XP, this is definitely more beneficial. Uh, just overall. And then, of course, we have this one. I'm going to buy one of these. Uh, that'll be nice to have for a uh, long run. Um, I don't think we're going to be fighting immediately, so I'm not going to put it on just yet. Um, I guess we'll stay at the end. Oh, wait. Actually, wait. How are we on items? Okay, we're okay. Just wanted to be sure nothing was going to, like, pop up and we don't have any items. In case there is a surprise fight. Jurgen still isn't back? Not yet. Elise, want to do some sightseeing? <clears throat> Miss Elise, why not join Leia? Come on, Elise. Gosh, now that Tipo's giving us the silent treatment, I guess I need to pick up the slack. You! Talk more than before? Impossible. Nah. Yeah. Hey, just because Tipo's gotten quiet doesn't mean you have to. I'd love to hear more about you, Elise, in your own words. Shut up, Leia. You're the one holding us all back, after all. Ooh. Huh? Elise, that was uncalled for. You should apologize. You must have really crossed the line if Mama Mila's scolding you. I hate Mila, and Leia too! Hey, where are you going? Ouch, that stung a little, not gonna lie. Please, do not let it get to you. Uh, oh, I I'm fine. We need to get Elise back. Maybe you aren't the best person right now to do that. Well, I guess we're all going together, so it doesn't really matter. But, uh... I really don't get, like, where... Like, okay. At first glance, you would think, okay, Elise is just venting out. You know, she's upset about all that she's learned. She doesn't know how to process it. And so she's just taking it out on everyone around her. But it was even, even before Tipo had lost his stuff, there was a moment where Elise had said that about Leia. So there's obviously some reason why Elise just doesn't seem to like Leia too much. I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, we have to find Elise, though, uh, around here somewhere. You know, Elise, of all people, should not be alone uh, for the simple fact of, you know, there were people after her. But I guess they already got what they needed. Um, I don't think she would have gone towards the entrance, so maybe up this way? I'm not sure if we can even go this way. Okay, we can't go this way yet, so she's got to be in this area. Um, up this way, maybe? Can we go to a new sector from here? Okay, I guess we can. Oh, there's Jow. <laughs> No reason to be alarmed. This is purely a chance encounter. Nothing more. Elise, I'm sorry about before. I can't imagine how lonely you must be without the old Tipo. I know I have a bad habit of opening my big mouth without thinking. Please forgive me. No. Come on, don't say that. I'll beg if I have to. I thought you and Mila were my friends. I hate you. I hate you. Can't you see that I'm just worried sick about you? Liar. You don't care about me at all. I don't want to be friends anymore. Miss Elise. Everyone is being kind to you right now because you have them so concerned. You say that you feel hurt, 
But have you considered your own actions? Do you realize that Tipo's words were just as hurtful to Miss Leia? I hurt Leia? Well, hurt is a strong word, but... You took the wind out of my sails, that's for sure. I had no idea. What? Why don't you try apologizing to her? But... I said such horrible things. I am certain she will forgive you if you ask nicely. Forgiveness is the sign of a true friend. Leia, I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Sure, but under one condition. From now on, I want you to tell me more about yourself using your own voice. Huh. You're not the boss of her. You're only three years older. Tipo, stop! Elise? Yes? Even if it's only three years, I'm still older than you. Right. Bossy Leia! Scary Leia! <laughs> There's a lesson here, child. Never take your friends for granted. So what do we do now? Jurgen still hasn't gotten back yet. We could just... Okay, to be fair, we're not at the, the inn. What if he's at... <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, if, if he was back, the plot would have brought him to us. But I'm just saying, like, right here, it's like, if this was a real situation, you would be like, oh, well, let's check back at the inn. He might be there. Barge into the castle ourselves. For the hundredth time, let's not cause any trouble for Jurgen. That's no good? Hmm. It sounded like a good idea to me. No, oh, Lord. Why would anyone build a city in such a high place? Well, I guess... Maybe it's just more impressive that way. So yeah, in the end, it was just Elise, you know... Having trouble, uh... I guess processing her grief, and she just took it out on, you know, Leia and Mila and whatever. Tipo, please! Stop saying mean things to Leia! But that's on you, Elise! No! I don't want to insult my friends. But at the bottom of your heart, don't you want to? No, you're wrong. Don't say things like that. Bad, Tebow, bad. Hey, take it <laughs> easy, you two. But Tebow's been saying horrible things. It's all right. I don't mind. Always meddling with us just because you're a few years older. But, but I like it when Leia meddles. Yep, she really does feel that way. Oh, thanks, Elise. Guess I'll keep right on meddling, then. It's like, Tipo is expressing her feelings, but sometimes in a, in, like, messing with you kind of way. Dude! We're such great pals! Oh, boy. Hey! Why do you always chomp my face? As a sign of affection! I've never seen Tipo get so close with anyone else before. So that was like a Tipo kiss. It was? My first kiss was stolen by Jude? <gasps> stolen? That should be my line. I can't believe I'm having this conversation with a puppet. Don't be coy, Jude. You have to take responsibility. Oh, Jude. Responsibility? Oh, responsibility Lord. Responsibility <laughs> for what? Oh, that went over his head completely. <laughs> They're so mean to him. Okay, I guess we're heading for the castle instead of waiting for Jurgen. Sorry, Jurgen. Guess we'll see what happens over here. At least I'm guessing it's... Yeah, I think it's right there. But, uh, I think we can take a look over here, possibly? Uh, I was kind of hoping we could look down uh, on this. I mean, you can kind of... The city's a lot bigger than it feels, even though there's only, like, three areas you get to go to. Like, the city itself is massive. Um, but I guess... Oh, yeah, this must be the... Whoa, that's a line. This is like when I, uh, waited in line at Best Buy to get my Nintendo Switch a few years ago. Uh, well, actually, this is like a third of that size. <laughs> There's a save point there. Obviously, it's gonna let us go That's there. Quite the line. 
I guess this king really does listen to his people. The king of Arjul is well known for his charisma. It is said he unified this strife-torn country on the strength of his character alone. A guy like that is sure to help us. Charisma only goes so far. If his government is secretly producing children like Elise, then he must answer for it. Thank you. Sorry, we were getting antsy. No, this is actually perfect timing. Are we good to go with the wyverns? Yes, I got royal approval. And something incredible happened when I requested an audience for Mila. What is it? When I told them your names, they said His Highness was looking forward to meeting you, too. Are you all famous in Rashagal or something? Uh, um, I don't think so. Perhaps word of the tournament has reached His Highness. What a great honor for our clan. Anyway, I need to head back to Shandu to ready the Wyverns. Hmm. Quite the unexpected welcome. It's not a trap, is it? I have a bad feeling about this as well. You do? It beats not getting to meet him at all. <sighs> Keeping secrets from us again? Of course. I have to maintain my mystique for the ladies. <sighs> What does he mean? They say men with secrets are attractive or something. I'm not exactly the right guy to ask. Come on, let's go say hi to His Highness. Alvin, we really need you to be straight with us. Don't worry. I know you've put your trust in me. Well, we'll see how far that goes. Considering the size of his country, Gaius's castle is actually pretty modest. I think that's admirable. Wait, did they just spoil his name before we've met the king? I'm actually, well, spoiler if you're watching this for the first time, but yes, the king's name is Gaius. Um, but uh, is that in Japanese To I have to find that out. Because that's, that's a pretty big spoiler to kind of just throw there. It may just be one of those general conversations that happens when you're here, but to code it in to where it says it before you meet the character, that's okay. <laughs> well then. Maybe they don't expect you to get that scene before you meet him, but I mean, obviously we did. I mean, not like it matters. You don't meet him before this scene. So just the name alone, if you're playing this for the first time, isn't going to do anything for you. I just find that very weird. <sighs> halt! Citizens seeking an audience with the king are to wait in line outside the castle. We were told the king wished an audience with us. Is one of you Lady Mila? That's me. Very well. Please proceed. What's the holdup? I don't believe a doll is appropriate at a royal audience. I thought we might leave it here. You sure? It's okay. I'll hold that for you. Now, let us meet this king. Hmm. Intriguing. What are you doing here? I am Zhao the Immovable of the Chimeriad. The Chimeriad? Four warriors in personal service to the king. To think Zhao was a member all along.
It is a great honor to meet you, former Chief of Staff Ilbert. Ah, and you are the Ebon Wing of Azul, Wingle the Nova. You must be the King of Azul. My name is Gaius, King of Azul. Welcome, Maxwell. You have requested an audience with the King, have you not? Now please, state your business. Boosters made in your country have already fallen into Rashigal hands. If a war were to break out between your nations, then the results would be catastrophic for everyone. Oh. And you came all the way here just to tell me that in person? Uh... Yes, Your Highness. We're planning to destroy one of Rashigal's weapons, a really big one at that. Once that thing's gone, we know that Rashigal's king wouldn't dare declare war on you. In fact, we hope that you might, you know, help us? Is there anything else? Yes, there is one other matter we'd like to discuss. It is in regards to the booster laboratory within the Royal Hunting Grounds. Is it true you once abducted orphans for this facility, and then you performed experiments on these children? <laughs> well, I didn't see that one coming. What does any of this have to do with you, Spirit? Oh boy. I am Maxwell. It is my duty to protect both humans and spirits alike. Really? Spirits protecting humans? Now that is quite an interesting tale. You forsook your duty as king, and then you toyed with the lives of your own people, didn't you? The laboratory is entirely my responsibility. It was a haven for those children. They would have died without it. You imagine it as a mad scientist's lab, but I assure you the experiments were entirely humane. You expect us to take your word for this? But I... I was... This girl, she was that test subject? Yes, she was. Even in Hamil, Elise was forced to live in a tiny room. Don't you consider that- Cruel? Well, uh... Yes. Tell me something, boy. Have you ever considered what it takes to achieve happiness? To achieve happiness? Yes, to try and live a satisfying life. How do you think one can achieve that? Do you even know? Well... Heavy question. It takes freedom to make your own decisions, and to form your own beliefs. Exactly. It takes freedom. <laughs> Well, I disagree. When a man loses his way in life, the ground beneath him starts to slowly crumble until there is nothing left. What do you mean, nothing left? A man who cannot find his way becomes trapped. The more he struggles, the deeper he sinks. Into uncertainty. Uh. True happiness comes from following a noble path across an entire lifetime without getting lost. My country does not produce failures. It is the king's duty to show his people the proper path. I must keep them from becoming completely trapped. Huh. Now, let me tell you in no uncertain terms why I've called you here. Maxwell, I know you stole the key from the laboratory in Rashigal. Now hand it over immediately. No, I won't. The key was not meant for human hands. When faced with the power that can destroy the entire world, no human can control him or herself. 
It seems as though you haven't heard a thing that I just said, Spirit. Something about royal guidance and noble paths. I've heard it before. You humans never change. I've watched you for 2,000 years. All right. Then why don't you just tell us where the key is? Oh, boy. What? Alvin! What are... What are you doing? But you can't... Alvin. Sorry, guys. I'm just doing my job. Alvin, who did Maxwell entrust the key to? The Handmaid Ivor. He's probably sulking back in Neocara as we speak. Al, what are you doing here? Hey, Pressa. Long time no see. Pressa, what is it? Ignore them. Give your report. The Rashigal army has invaded Hamil. What did you uh -oh. say? I'm afraid the casualties are high. Those not killed were captured. They were then sent to Rashigal. We also found evidence that the power of a great spirit was used upon the village. A great spirit? But no one has successfully summoned the four great spirits for two decades. Impossible. I would have known if the four great spirits had been released. Could it be? The Lance of Kresnik? Is it possible that Nautical has made a new key? If that's the case, then we're declaring war. Send word to all the clans. I am going to crush anyone who dares to harm my people! Well then, we will no longer have any need for the likes of you. But if His Highness were to have the Spirit Maxwell as his captive, even the unruly clans would be forced to bend their knees. Oh, lovely. Miss Elise. T-Bone, no! Well, don't just stand there! Come on, run! Capture Maxwell. Recover the test subject. Oh, Alvin, how many times are you going to betray us? Uh, That should be good. Looks like we got to break our way out. Now we get to do some actual fighting. I did it. Um, actually, you know what? Let's use this one. Mission accomplished! You knew that we'd have to escape, so that's why you left Tipo with the guard. Yes, I knew that it would end up being Mila who treated with King Gaius. <laughs> and when Mila fully expresses herself, well, I figured something would happen. <laughs> I see why you were cautious. Yep, just as predicted. Oh, I know what that's called. That means Mila's a troublemaker. Hmm. Yo! Did you hear the whole thing? I can't deny the truth of your words, but there is one thing I'd like to add. By that definition, wouldn't Tipo be a troublemaker as well? well I guess that's... that's... What? You're not gonna defend me? <laughs> you can still take it funny in a situation like this. Now, shall we begin? <laughs> Let's get these guards out of our way. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm sure this won't be the last time Alvin betrays us. I will fulfill my mission, no matter what happens. I'm right there with you. Huh? Huh? One more guy to take out. Out of our way. Oh well, Alvin would have been great here. Stay strong. Stay strong. Always one. Far too close. Fantastic. That's helpful. I won't get through. Always one step ahead. I did it. Very nice. I feel much. All right, let's get out of here. So Alvin really was a big fat liar. I assumed he had his reasons, but this time he took it too far. Stupid traitor, let me at him! Why would he betray us like that? I'm afraid even I can't read his mind. How could he do this to us? He better not show his face around us again. Uh, it might be time for us to run. Well, uh, oh, they deleted the save point, too. It won't open. If we can reactivate the five control stones, we may be able to unlock the gate. Pour your mana into the stones until they glow red. Just like at Fort Gandala. The gate will not unlock, however, unless we all activate the stones at roughly the same time. Wait, I've never done anything like this before. Don't worry. Just use your mana as you would when casting an art. There's no time. We've only one chance. Let us begin. Uh oh. Done. Already? I'm finished too. Same here. I did it. Come on, come on. I'm so sick of holding everyone back. Why? Why can't I do it? Mila! Leia, relax. I'm not good enough for this. Quit thinking you're inferior to anyone here. Thanks. You can do this. Let's continue. Okay. Huh? There you go. Hurry up, you two! Alright, guess we're gonna keep running. Nobody leaves me behind at a party. Cressa, was it? If you've been Gaius's henchwoman all along, then you've been after us ever since we escaped Fenmont. Al sold you out to his highness way back in Nia Kara. He was on your side the whole time. 
<laughs> Hardly. That man's no ally. Huh? <laughs> I'll leave our relationship to your imagination. All I'll say is this. Al drifts from one group to the next like a ship without a compass. Trying to plot his course is impossible. Serves you right for trusting him. It's obvious that the Lance of Kresnik is the greatest threat if war breaks out. Surely oh Maxwell realizes this. Your territorial squabbles are of no interest to me. My only concern is keeping that thing out of human hands and preventing a miserable end for us all. So high and mighty, it's time someone broke your arrogance. Enough! You didn't become a veteran of countless battles through meaningless bloodshed. Has your youth gotten the better of you? Don't lecture me on age, Dilbert. Your ways are old. Therefore, you falter. <clears throat> and then you flee. Oh, you got white hair. How do you like that? What? what just happened? A sudden burst of mana. He has a booster. Why? Who are you? Elise, Saibon Punyukaida, Tiyaude Sevon Priyande. What? In our language. Long now. So unsusu Maxwell. Wizun Kichiodo. Oh, here we go. They're quite formidable. I warn you, he's quite strong like this. Huh. Can't understand a word he's saying. Well, no matter. You'll understand soon enough. Once we're all finished with you. I shall provide support. Better <laughs> 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 take out the captor first. <laughs> 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 Alright, well she's taking it out, so that's good. And that wingle sounds like a bird. Funny. Always one step ahead. Okay. Come back to us. Come back to us. You can take that fist. His hair completely changed. And his speech, too. Has mana dramatically increased? There can be only one reason a booster. Well, Jude got two level ups. That was kind of nice. There's always a Miller, too, and Leia. What now? Still want to play, do you? Wait! Don't try to stop me. No, look! I suppose our time is up. Running away again, Ilbert? It's because you ran last time that King Noctigal ended up the way he did. <sighs> More drama. Well, uh, I guess we're running away. Back to the gym. Can we teleport there or do we have to walk? 
Oh, we can teleport back. Okay. Well, next time we'll head back to Jandu, and uh, I guess we're going to fly through the, uh, what was it, the Fezabel Marsh to, uh, I guess, take care of that weapon. But uh, there's a lot more going on we have to worry about now. But anyways, that's going to be it, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.